What's going on in here? Is it uh, behind the scenes time? Is that what we're doing? That is what we're doing. Tell our viewers what you're working on. So right now I'm removing these titanium BMX cranks with a 19 millimeter spindle and a spleen driven sprocket. Those look really cool. Yeah, I love those cranks. Uh, I'm replacing them with these aluminum MTB cranks that have a 24 millimeter spindle and a um, crank driven sprocket. Is that something that's hard to do? No, not really. Uh, we designed the Chimera to use a PF30 bottom bracket. Whoa, wait, can you tell me what a bottom bracket is? Well, yes I can. Uh, so a bottom bracket, it's the part of the bike that holds the bearings for the crank spindle to go through so that the crank can spin freely and you can pedal your bicycle. Got it. Yeah. And we chose the PF30 bottom bracket standard um, because it's, it's fairly prevalent on the market. You can find the PF30 pretty easily and uh, they, they offer a wide variety of bearing sizes. So that's important for riders uh, because it allows us to use uh, a wide variety of cranks. So if you want to use BMX cranks with a 19 millimeter or 22 millimeter spindle, you can do that as long as the spindle is wide enough. Or if you want MTB cranks with a 24, 25, or 30 millimeter spindle, you can use those as well. So most cranks on the market will fit uh, this bike. So is that something that's common among e-bikes or is that something that's special to this? Uh, well, it's not common to mid-drive motorized uh, e-bikes. So some of the higher end uh, mountain bikes um, use the mid-drive system, the, the Bosch, the Broza, uh, and a lot of customized bikes use mid-drive systems like the, the BBS HD or the CYC X1. They're really cool motors, but what they do is um, they sit lower on the bike and they sort of commandeer this whole bottom bracket area. And because of that, uh, they require you to use mid-drive specific cranks and mid-drive specific chain wheels, so proprietary parts. So this one is different then? Yeah, it's, it's what we're calling a, a high drive, and one of the features of that system is that it just leaves the bottom bracket alone. It allows you to just use normal bottom brackets. Wow, cool. So what has that helped with in this situation? Well, it offers the customizability that I was talking about, right? So you can use a lot of different kinds of cranks. For some people, that's not so important, uh, but it also um, enhances serviceability, right? So it gives you more options in that regard. So if for some reason your e-bike, you need to replace your e-bike cranks or your e-bike chain wheel, if you're using a mid-drive system, not any bike shop's gonna have those parts, um, and a lot of online vendors won't have those parts as well. They're, they're pretty specialized, and you don't have a lot of options. Whereas um, with this kind of system, you know, you can walk into most bike shops in the world, uh, and most online vendors are gonna have something that will fit this bike and that will work. Some chain ring, some uh, crank that will, will work. In fact, uh, I got these like next day delivered from a popular online vendor. So can I get the Chimera next day delivered? Uh, you cannot. So what you're looking at right now is the prototype of the Chimera and our production run doesn't start until we uh, launch on Indiegogo this August. So less than 30 days. That's exciting. I'm excited to get these bikes to people. Yeah. Thank you. See ya.